Hello everyone, we are from group 9 today will present about pitting formation and mechanism. Pitting is a form of extremely localized attack in environment containing aggressive ions that results in holes in the metal. There are few conditions for pitting to occur. First, the breaks in the films or other defects, such as a lack of homogeneity in the film on the metal surface. Second, the presence of halogen ions such as chlorine, bromine and iodine. And third, is the stagnancy of an electrolyte. In order for pitting to take place, the formation of an anode is necessary and it may be formed as a result of lack of homogeneity at the metal corrosive interface. Next, the destruction of a passive film due to increase in corrosion potential. Deposit of debris or solids on the metal surface generally leads to the formation of anodic and cathodic sites. Lastly, the pit growth where formation of an active passive cell with a large potential difference. Now, we are going to explain the critical pitting potential. It is the least positive potential at which pits can form. The graph shown is the schematic anodic polarization curve showing the critical pitting potential for a passive metal. If we look at the graph, once the corrosion pits initiate, it will propagate rapidly. Below critical pitting potential, pitting does not occur while above critical pitting potential, corrosion pits initiate and propagate where current increases with time as corrosion pits initiate and grow. Basically, there are three processes of pitting which is pitting initiation, pitting propagation, and pitting termination. During pitting initiation, the formation of anodic sites by disruption of the protective passive film on metal surface. The anodic metal dissolution reaction is represented by this equation. And balanced by the cathodic reaction of oxygen. Pitting propagation is due to the continuing metal dissolution which leads to an excess of positive metal ions that accumulated in the anodic area. The process is self-stimulating and self-propagating. Next, hydrolysis reaction will take place where the reaction of metal ion and chlorine with water resulting in the formation of metal hydroxide and hydrochloric acid. The presence of hydrogen ions and chloride content prevents repassivation. The increase in the rate of dissolution at the anode increases the rate of migration of the chloride ions, resulting in the formation of more and more metal chloride by hydrolysis. The process continues until the metal is perforated by autocatalytic process and it increases with time resulting in more and more metal dissolution. Finally, the metal is perforated and the reaction is terminated. That's all from us, thank you and have a great day.